welcome. In this video you will get a short but comprehensive overview about spur battle gears to get you started. We will go over what's specific about this type of gears, where it is used and why it might be important for you to know about. Battle gears became of significant importance at the beginning of the 20th century as the automotive vehicle was developed and became accessible to the masses. At that time bevel gears were used in the rear axles as differentials. Nowadays straight bevel gears are still used in differentials in general as differential side gears. Spur bevel gears are the simplest type of bevel gear. There are also other types including spiral, serial or hypoid. Spur bevel gears are used mainly at low rotation speeds. For example for the gearboxes of manually operated hoists, contractor winches, lifting jacks or universal gearboxes with small power ratings. But the most popular applications are the traditional hand drill and differentials in automobiles. The differential you can see here is made up by two outer bigger spur bevel gears and four smaller ones that are attached to one of the bigger gears. The violet wheel is the drive wheel as indicated by the arrow. As you can see the smaller gears are not always in motion but only when there is a steering maneuver meaning that one wheel has a lower rotation speed than the one on the opposite side. In mechanical applications it is often necessary to transfer rotary movement from one axis to another. Sometimes this can be done with normal spur gears, but once the axes are not parallel it gets a little bit more difficult. A common solution in these situations are bevel gears. They are used to transfer rotary movement between axes that can stand at different angles against each other. The rotation is maintained while the operating angle can vary. The transmission eye can be expressed as different relations, either between the number of teeth set the diameters of the gears, the numbers of revolution or the angular velocity. The angular velocity can be calculated as 2 pi times the revolution number of a gear. Bevel gears have a form of truncated cones. The paired bevel gears roll on top of each other without sliding. The peripheral velocity at the contact point is the same for both gears. The cones meet at their specific angles delta 1 and delta 2. The cones of the bevel gears meet in a specific point with a specific cutting angle. This cutting angle is often referred to as sigma and calculated by the individual cone angles delta 1 and delta 2. Two bevel gears in mesh are called a bevel gearing as you can see here. The pitch cone angles of the gear and pinion are determined by the angle of the intersecting. As spur bevel gears are intended to be used at low rotation speeds, you might have to consider other bevel gear types depending on your use case. Those can have advantages in terms of the amount of force that can be transferred, the rotation speed or the noise amplitude, but they can also be more difficult to manufacture. If you want to go into more detail about the topic, here is some literature to help you to do so.